Pur namaste. Pur namaste. Everybody love now. Welcome to the art of the word that I am from the heart. We all dive deep once again, as always. I love you and thank you for watching my videos. Always be blessed. May you reach your highest divine version that you really are. And may you become that love. And may you also unite with true love. But you become true love first. Your true love. So your true love can follow. So yes. We don't speak about love. We don't speak about highly sensitive people. Like I am. Like you maybe if you are watching. Or you are just watching to learn about sensitive people. Because... Maybe you love somebody who is sensitive. You know, this question is popping up all the time. Sensitive people, I will not say empaths, I rather say sensitive. I have an empath, I am so highly sensitive. Part of me is highly empathic, so highly. Ooh. Yeah, I feel everything. I suffered like anything before because I felt everything and I couldn't handle. But now as a master, I feel everything. I could cannot handle it anymore also. But I walk away. I don't deal with it. Deal with only what feels good. I'm most sensitive one. So sensitive angels. The question is why, why, why sensitive souls, sensitive hearts, highly sensitive empaths have so much struggle to find love, to remain in love, to have that happy love? You know, many empaths, many sensitive, highly sensitive people, they are asking this, why? I want to be loved, I want to be held, like I love, like I want to hold. Highly sensitive people, we love so much, we love so much, we love with our all heart. We go full in, we express that love. Intense, heart is open. The way the highly sensitive person loves, it's too intense, so intense, that their partner many times cannot handle it, you know, usually highly sensitive souls are divine feminines, I am with a beard, I know, my twin, she could not handle it, she said immediately after some time, this is this is so intense. This was her word. So intense. So intense. So intense. So intense. Yes. And that's why she ran away. She's actually getting ready for the dance of her life. She knew that she's not ready. She told me, I'm not ready. This is too intense. I'm shaking. Masculine wants to pretend, wants to take it slow, wants to hide emotions, not to be vulnerable. Highly sensitive person, when highly sensitive being falls in love and gives the heart, expresses that love from the heart. You are my angel, you are a beautiful flower on the rarest mountain, you are the rarest flower on the rarer mountain, such is your beauty, and you are so precious, like the flower that grows only on the rarest mountain, there's only one of that flower, and that flower is you, I want to give you all my heart, everything. Too intense, too intense. Highly sensitive people love with full heart in. This is one reason. There's another reason. Highly sensitive people, especially if they are like I am, master sensitive, empath, telepath, clairsentient, clairaudient, even 
clear seeing sometimes, but not so much. I feel so much that I see everything. It's intense for them to find love for highly sensitive souls because they feel everything. They feel what's up. They know if that person truly loves them, if that person wants to cheat them, if that, that person only wants to have fun with them. And they feel it, they walk away. You know, they feel the true intentions, the energy. And in a relationship, it's scary for the partner to be with highly sensitive person, especially if they're mastered. It's scary. Because like my love has seen she doesn't have to say anything, she can hide and pretend, but she's transparent. Because partners feel by their lovers who are highly sensitive, that they are transparent, that they cannot hide anything, that all their secrets, everything is on open. They feel naked. They maybe will lose their job in three weeks. They maybe feel, okay, this is if they are together, if they are in a relationship, then they maybe feel, okay, I will not tell her, I will not tell her, so I don't break her heart, and I will tell her on that day when I lose the job, but immediately, highly sensitive person, if you are intimate with them, they will know. They will not maybe know what's up exactly, what happened, but they will ask you, what is wrong, love? Nothing happened. No, 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 everything is okay, everything. No, I see you, I feel you, don't lie to me. What happened? Tell me what happened. No, everything is okay, everything is okay. And they will not stand lies and pretending. Even if their partner lies for their good, so they will not get hurt, so they will not get... Even if they lie for good cause, highly sensitive person will feel it, will know it. A highly sensitive person doesn't want to deal with this shit. Even though if you think that it's for her good, for his good, that you keep this from him, from her, you twist a little bit like, they will know. A highly sensitive person will not take it. They know you're hiding something, they know you did something, if you are cheating, if you are doing something what is not in alignment with your love, and the way that you dance in love, if you are doing something that offends that love, that actually violates that love, if you are not loyal, if you are playing games, they will know, they will know everything. That's why for the highly sensitive soul it's so hard to stay in a relationship. Like my twin ran away. She's actually getting ready. Maybe she needs many years, I don't know. But people cannot handle this, partner cannot handle this. They feel transparent, they feel vulnerable. They feel like they cannot hide anything. Usually divine masculine is vulnerable. Not. <laughs> and we got a problem. But the highly sensitive person is highly vulnerable. Open heart. If they are in a relationship, highly, highly vulnerable. Open heart. Expressing all their emotions. All their fears. All their joy. Everything. About themselves. And they're sincere about other one also. And they demand this. They demand this. Highly sensitive person will express their true emotions, how they feel, their fears, what they don't like. What is within them, what is bothering them. What are their fears, what are their highest hope. They will spill their heart out, they will have no secrets and they expect from you if you are in a relationship with a highly sensitive person and this is how it should be and that's why I'm still alone also, that you are also so open, so vulnerable, that you express all your emotions, 
that you express your fears, your worries, your weaknesses, that you are vulnerable and open. They want that you are sincere about yourself and about them. They want no pretending, no hiding. If you cannot be vulnerable around highly personal, being highly sensitive person, they will run away. They will run away. Like with my love, the only thing was I opened myself. She actually was completely in love and she was searching for me. She wanted to meet me. I opened up. It was too intense. She started to shake. She started, I'm not ready. Because when she had let me know how intense she feels, she never feels such love and what is this, uh, all this, I want to meet you, I want to do that and like this, I want us to have a greatest time in our life. This was her first, she actually opened herself but then she understood that she cannot. Could not express her emotions, could not express her vulnerability, her fears, whatever is bothering her. She could not express. She said it was too intense. And she tried to hide. A highly sensitive person will not take it. Because highly sensitive person is here. They see you clearly. They see you clearly. And if you are not fully open in the relationship with them, expressing all your emotions, fully vulnerable, expressing your weakness, your powers, your fears, your might, all your emotions, everything within you, sincere in relationship, they will not take it. No pretending, nothing. Everything was okay between me and my twin. She said, I'm not ready. I'll wait. I'll make myself ready. But after some months, she started masculine, pretending some. No, no. You cannot pretend with highly sensitive person. Highly sensitive person will see you. And if you pretend, if you are in loving connection with highly sensitive person, you pretend... You will be sorry that you pretended. They will let you know what you are hiding and that you are pretending and they don't want to deal with it. Pretending and then they see you in your heart as you are. My love when she tried to pretend and she tried some masculine shields up and some pretending she got poetry hum hammer of Thor that she was sorry that she ever said anything. I showed her a mirror like this. Highly sensitive person will not take any insincerity, any pretending. If you cannot be vulnerable, if you cannot express your emotions, if you cannot express your love, if you cannot express your traumas, your fears, your secrets, whatever needs to heal within you, all the light and glories within you, how you feel, why you feel. And if you cannot put your shields down and be vulnerable, They don't want anything because highly sensitive person wants true love. They feel everything. So they feel what is fake. They feel what is love. They feel manipulations. They feel lies. They feel games. They feel pretending. They feel true love. They feel everything. And highly sensitive person, they feel everything. They really feel everything. And they express everything, all their emotions, everything what is within them. And they want true love. They want true love. If the other one is acting, pretending, not truthful, not sincere, doesn't dare to be vulnerable. A highly sensitive person is most vulnerable, most sensitive, most expressing themselves. If they cannot express themselves, if they cannot be vulnerable, if they are hiding, pretending, lying, this is not true love. This is what highly sensitive person doesn't want. Highly sensitive person wants true love. It will not settle. Highly sensitive being will not settle for anything less than true love. 
just to be with someone and then suffer to feel all these energies pretending uh, when the other one is acting like the other one is the enemy and they must have the shields on and hide everything what is within them highly sensitive person feels violated disrespected i know and because i feel it'll feel like this if i would be in a relationship and somebody would act like this i'd rather say bye bye you know they will not take it highly sensitive being wants true love and they are sincere truthful expressing everything what is within them and they want this in true love they don't want to just settle with somebody to have sex and to not to be alone they actually want true sincere honest open love from the heart dedicated hm. it's hard with highly sensitive person you must be ready for it because they will read you as a book and want true love and they want for you only sincerity and truthfulness to yourself and to them you have to take your shields down you have to be vulnerable if you want to be with highly sensitive person but there's another catch also highly sensitive person feels everything and they don't like if people get attached to them if they depend them if they control them they don't like this so highly sensitive person also doesn't like when somebody get attached to them, I know. I know, I feel everything. I don't want here friends and somebody starts obsessed and start, because I'm here to kill your attachments, to set you free. I don't like even that. So in a relationship, <laughs> highly sensitive person will not actually like if the other one gets very attached, if they get dependent on their energy, you know. A highly sensitive person is not with you because they need you, because they need your energy. They love you and they want to give you your love and they want you to understand them. You know, they will not settle. And if you have problems like my love, so many traumas and fears that she cannot be vulnerable. A highly sensitive person is here if they love you to help you, to assist you and I'm a master. And if they cannot assist you and you are hiding and pretending like I told her, bye-bye, maybe this life you will not be ready. Highly sensitive person wants true love, wants sincerity, nothing else. And no attachments, no conditions, no karma, no contracts, no depending on one another energy. They love you from the freedom of their heart because they are love and they don't want you to depend on their love to need their love to control and man manipulate their love to get too attached they want you to be free and to set them free and love them out of the freedom of the wind you know so highly sensitive person will get disturbed if somebody gets attached and dependent and try to control them and uh, is missing them, cannot live without them, checking up on them every five minutes or every hour, even every day if they like this. <laughs> they will not handle it if somebody depends on their energy. They want true love, which is free of attachments, open from the heart and nothing else. That's why, you know, in my life, through all the re relationships that I've been in, I'm 37 years old, I'm single, I know my twin in my heart, but I am that love. Five relationships, living hell, if not living hell, then something happened that I cried like anything, I always cried. And always this, the other one could not be sincere, could not give me love. I got attached, I got dependent. <laughs> I cried and I felt everything. I felt the insincerity, I felt the games, I felt everything. And now I'm happy love that I am. My soulmate, previous love, could not express herself, be vulnerable, open. I cannot stand it. We didn't talk much. We did have connection and love and we cooperated much in my Facebook work. work. 
She could not be vulnerable. She could not express herself. She could not ask for help. So we ended, but we ended in peace. And now then I met my twin, I thought now my happiness follows because I was teaching others how to love when I was in it. I proven to universe that I have no attachments, no dependency, that I'm unconditional love. But when my twin arrived, more crazy. She just could not handle the highly sensitive madman master that I am that sees her clearly and loves so intensely, although that she was watching me one year and didn't know how to approach me and really wanted to meet me. Her first comment was, we are to meet soon and we will smoke a joint together. <laughs> but then she couldn't handle it. So we are in this together. I never experienced happy union. When it was happy union, then the separation happened. Some, something happened that separated us, their parents or some situation. Or I was in a relationship and I was suffering in attachments, in not getting that love, depending on them, cannot live without them, crying, crying, crying. But I didn't stick in any relationship long if the love was not given to me and love was not sincere. I went away. If there was too much suffering, too much trauma, I went away. And now in the end, I am that happiest, full and complete, love fully and completely happy, making me love that I am happy. And now I'm ready for my love to come. When she is to be ready. So the point is, highly sensitive person will not, doesn't find love easily and doesn't stay in the relationship easily because they do not settle. They feel everything. They just don't want to be with somebody not to be alone. They are highly sensitive. They love to be alone. I love to be alone in mother nature, in forest. You see my nature. I don't... I'm really a person, a lion. And... I rather work on myself, heal my attachments, heal my traumas because I'm so sensitive, heal my fears, heal my dependency on energy of others, and I became that love, happiest love that I always was searching. Not settling. And I can wait all my life for true love that completely matches me like a mirror picture and nothing else. I am settling for true love that we are, that our divine geometry of the mind and soul matches completely. True love with no attachment, no dependency. True love when lovers express everything to each other, are sincere, truthful to each other, express all their emotions, their fears their hopes, their light and darkness, be vulnerable with each other, have no secrets, because this is true love. This world, something can happen. People can do shit to you that really makes you feel bad and hurt. But if you are in a relationship, you should be with somebody that when you come home, you feel like you have come home. They have no secrets, you have no secrets. They tell them the worst things they did and the best things they did. They tell them how much they are, how they tell you how much they are afraid and how much they love you, how powerful are and how weak that they are. And you are same with them and you share your deepest secrets. And when you come home to such lover, you feel like you have come to brother, sister, mother, father, you come home. And feels like home. Nobody understands me but you do. But nobody else I can open like self, myself like to you. And this is true friends and true love. And true love. This the result of such open hearts relationship. It's like a home. When such friendship, such family is built first, this relationship is because they have no secrets. They feel like open books to each other. And they want to read each other. And they express how much they love each other. They express what they are afraid of. They express. So when they come home, this is what happened. He did this to me, my boss. And my mom said, come on, I love you. This is 
true love where you can express everything and hide nothing, you pretend nothing. Words is when somebody has shields on, doesn't dare to express their emotion, doesn't dare to express what is hurting them inside, what are their traumas, what are their fears, what they have to heal within, and they rather run away. That's why I don't care. I'm highly sensitive, enlightened master. I don't care. I don't want my love to come now. I don't want to force her. Because she cannot express her emotions now. She cannot be vulnerable. She pretending. Then if I am with her, these things, whatever she's not ready for yet, that not readiness is to express as drama, suffering, separation in the relationship. When she will not be able to express herself, when she will lie and pre pre pretend she will not express her emotions. And then, no, this is not love. So, if you're a highly sensitive person, don't worry. You are waiting for your true love, because you're highly sensitive. Nothing else can make you happy. If it's not true love, if it's not sincere, open from the heart, vulnerable, expressing all the darkness and light, all the emotions, everything, you will hurt, you will suffer, you will feel like you are their enemy, that they think that you are their enemy, that I have to hide things, that I have to lie things, you will feel like disrespected, and you will feel like this is not love, and there will be drama and suffering. Highly sensitive person, so hard finds love in this world because they are here to experience the true love and you are highly sensitive in drama, attachment, in games, in, in manipulations, in disrespect, in just fucking somebody, somebody is just making sex with somebody just for the pleasure, you hurt, you suffer and you don't want this, you don't want to settle for all this stuff, you want to rule off. Because you're also so sensitive and all these things, the drama and all the separation and disrespect in love, the violation will hurt you so much because you are so sensitive. So you are waiting true love. That's why you will open only to somebody who is open as you, who can express their emotions as you, who is vulnerable and accepts you for it, and sets you free. true love just as you are so highly sensitive person is so difficult to find love because you are here to experience true love and you will not settle for anything else I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this video has dived deep some light if you are highly sensitive and uh, soul why is so hard for you to find love and if you are dealing with highly sensitive soul Maybe now you understand them much better. This is what art of the word that I am here for. To give you the word, to give you the higher understanding. And I love you. And thank you. Thank you for every like. Thank you for every love. Without you, I would not be able to give one word. And I love everyone who watches this. I bless you that you become your true love. And that your true love finds you, that loves you sincerely, truthfully, openly, vulnerably, fully, as you love. And if you love out of the word that I am, if it resonates with you, and in your, in your heart you feel that you want to share a donation per your choice for my work, I put my link, PayPal link there. It's only for those who feel in their heart that you want to support my work so that more videos come, eventually quality of my work rises, expands, and I'm so grateful for every single coin, because where I was before, I'm living on trust, I'm living on faith, between where I was and towards my greatest service, and between now at the start of my purpose as a teacher, you support me, you help me, and I will never forget, never forget, I know, when I make it, I never forget, but that's not, that's not, if a man is enlightened, in giving we receive, so if there's any enlightened gold in my heart, any truth in my heart, and 
enlightenment is being one with the Chirut and being free of 3D and being one with the Chirut and sure in the Chirut that I am. If there's any Chirut in me, you get empowered, it comes to you. In giving we receive, maybe spiritual gold is most precious. But because I so much appreciate and love everyone who ever offered me any donation, you know, I do white light source healing energy work on anyone who offered me always distance healing quantum healing no appointment we don't talk about it I don't chat but I'm to do it I give you my word this is not you're giving support for my work but this is my gift for distance I clear your energies, I clear out whatever needs to be cleared out, I balance you, I ground you, I fill you up with white light. You will feel better, you will not even know why, you will feel that, you will think of me. <laughs> you will feel lighter, you will feel balanced. But this is all what I can do. I can teach, but you save yourself if you implement the teaching. And I can do healing. And if you do that changes, if you have faith, if you work on yourself, and if you do that changes that you have to, you save yourself. You heal yourself. I'm only instrument. I cannot heal nobody. I cannot save anybody. But I can teach you and share the way that I saved myself. And I can share my energy. No healer can heal you. You heal yourself. You know. And I give you my word. Everyone who ever offers me a donation, when I get time, this is same day or next day, I connect with their energy and I work on them. But they heal themselves. I only give you my love, my energy. And I'm so grateful for anyone who ever offers me a donation. Because without you, I'm really grateful from the heart. Without you, I would not be able to give one word and I am. I love you. Thank you. And see you very soon. Stay strong. And if you are highly sensitive, wait for true love. Because everything else will hurt you. And you will be sorry that you went into it. I give you my word. I love you. Namaste, namaste.